And if it's okay with yourself, Arthur, I've, I'll try. I've offered someone else a chance to play. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> and you'll be playing, all right, uh, Duncan? On that one, you already know about that one, don't you? Yeah, that's grand. Thanks Thursday, very much. Uh, in the first week of March. I think it's the fourth of March. I'll send you an email anyway to confirm, Harry. All right. Yeah, yeah. That's the best way of doing it. Oh well, great everybody. Well, what can I say, Duncan? What shall I write in the in the, uh, the match result blog? What about your game? Again, another another stunning attempt by uh, uh, Duncan Roy. Well, we could we could just do it on camera now as we as we roll down the road. <laughs> oh really? Oh, you uh, doing? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I had a I played a, a Queen's Gambit. Queen's Gambit. Right. Um, where my opponent played, I uh, thought an unusual move after after H6 attacking. The, my dark square colour bishop, I retreated to um, H4 uh, and then he played G5, which I thought was a really unusual move. And um, so what, that left him with this? a permanent, about, permanent weakness in his king side, and then he chose to castle king side. meant that um, for most of the game after that I uh, just tried to create niggling weaknesses for him. Okay, great. Oh, well, right, I'm nice to put that in the open. What about in your case, Ian? Anything I can say on that one? Um, he played the centre counter. Centre counter? Yeah. And um, it was pretty even until he... Sorry? It was pretty even until he blundered a piece. Oh, he, well, that's a good point. He, he, I see, even until he blundered a piece. Yeah. Right, okay, great. Okay, so we've got that dog right somewhere. Like Harry, uh, anything we got there? Um, played the A6 slab black. Sorry, what? The A6 slab is black. Um, oh, you played, I see, the slab defense to the Queen's, the Queen's Gambit, is yeah, that it? Yeah, that's it. And uh, with uh, A6, and um, I don't know, he made too many sort of wandering knight moves. It gave me a massive lead in development. Uh, I went down from the exchange. moment that must have been. Eh? I mean it's reassuring to, for me that, that it, you know it can happen. What about your game Andrew? Um, Sicilian. Well you don't have to, you don't have to, because yeah, well, no, well, you know what happened yeah, in your I'll, game I'll don't you? I'll see what I can think about it quickly in a minute. It was, uh, it was the, um, I'm just trying to think where we went because actually Sicilian and uh, he ended up actually with his with his bishop on h6, with my bishop then on h8. You know the black bishop, yeah. The classic with the dragon variation of the Sicilian, and I and his bishop there on h6 just stayed there, and he wanted to try and put pressure on me to bring a he tried to bring a rook down on, on the uh, the back rank, um, but I managed to hold off against that. We had quite a complex uh, middle game, uh, and, he, and he started to take an attack with his knight and Queen coming over around my King, but I just defended. And eventually we just went on right through to an end game with a with a, a knight. Eventually a knight he had a knight in the pawns, put a knight of bishop and pawn. Uh, 
that way, Green Armor Grove. 